Hey beautiful people, welcome back to the Young and Independent Show where we discuss a variety of topics to help young folks live lives that are spiritually fulfilled, lives that are value added, lives that are less materialistic and lives that are financially independent. I'm your host Seal and tonight I want to talk about my second million dollar business idea. I know that I promised you that I was going to make these kind uh, of podcasts twice a week to talk about business ideas that young people in Africa can actually um, look into, explore, exploit, activate, uh, you know, whatever. But the key thing about these ideas is to take action. If you don't try, you would never know if if it's going to work or if it was actually going to be uh, fruitful, profitable, whatever you want to call it. Because, you know, sometimes we make excuses before we even try. That's not the whole point. I don't have time to waste telling you all these amazing business ideas for you to say, oh, make an excuse. Oh, but people, oh, but that and that. I mean, if Steve Jobs made excuses, we we won't have... uh, um computers is it steve jobs or bill gates i don't know one of those guys uh if um who invented the light bulb if these guys all thought oh actually humans are good with what they have then we won't have all these fantastic things facebook mac uh zuckerberg uh instagram that we all love changing our faces snapchat and all those things if these people assume that other people will not need it, we wouldn't have all these things that we're enjoying. So the 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 the, the point of this of me sharing all these ideas is for you to actually activate them. It's for you to take uncomfortable action and for you to try it. You know, even in small scale, try just try it. Uh, that's why uh, the business idea that I want to share today. It's pretty, for me, it's pretty straightforward because I am a people's person. It's easy for me to network. I'm not ashamed. Money doesn't have color for me. For some people, they'll be, you know, (laughs) I know that most people, especially young women nowadays, they'll be shy. But I honestly, money doesn't have color. I remember when I was in Cameroon, I used to um, sell a product called Septic Digest. <laughs> Guess what Septic Digest does? Listen, guys. Oh, my God. I miss my daringua. We used to go and look for poop. I'm talking about shit. S-H-I-T. Real shit, so not shit that uh, people in America just say shit. No. Real shit. We were excited to see shit. Do you know why? Because we knew that once we saw a lot of shit in your pee toilet, then we'll be able to sell septic digest to you. The septic digest were um, bacteria, active bacteria that degrades bio, bio bacteria that degrades human waste in your septic tank so that you don't get to hire uh, the septic, uh, those guys with the septic truck to come and uh, empty your sewage. So we used to degrade, we used to put that bacteria, once the bacteria drops into your septic tank, the water in it bursts the porch because they were coming in porches. It will now dissolve the porch and then the bacteria will come to life and start degrading the human waste in your septic tank. And that human waste is going to be degraded to a level where it will be like water and it's going to go into your suck away. And from your suck away, it's going to go back into the soil. So that way, not only does it take care of smell, but it takes care of quantity and then it, it saves the planet. Okay. All right. Enough of septic digest. So I'm just telling you that what I, the reason why I explained this whole septic digest process to you is for you to understand that I'm not talking from a place of privilege. No, 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 no. Nothing like that. In fact, I used to sell forever living products when I was in Cameroon. I used to go into the bushes in Soka Palm. I mean, I don't know if I go if I go back there, those guys will recognize me. But I have been through it. And I'm telling you that it works. When you give it your all, it works. I used to make commissions from from forever for like a, for like a million. I used to make sales for like a million. I used to be a bulldozer. So when I tell you that these things are possible, they are possible. 
they are possible. So I'm not just thinking on, on the top of my head and say, no, 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 no. Nothing like that. No. Nothing like that. So I want to tell you today that, do you know that you can actually be like a bridge for people who have, uh, uh, people who are struggling with their time and work? Let me explain. So there are young women and men who are working right now in offices, banks, MTN, Orange, little nice companies around town. I mean, you, you name it, the nurses, whatever. Look around you. People are very busy. Go to those offices. Let me tell you before you go there, let me just gist you. Before you go there, yeah, I want you to go on canva.com. Canva.com. Go to design flyer. When you're in Canva, go to the search bar. Canva has the free version, totally free, no strings attached, and the pro version. Because I use Canva a lot, I I bought the pro version. I think I bought it $100 for one year because I use it a lot. I actually design coloring books for kids using Canva. I designed my own book covers using Canva. It saves me a lot of money. Now, for you who is starting or starting off, if you cannot afford to pay for the pro version, that's totally fine. You can go on canva.com, create an account and access the free version. You will still be able to access flyers. Go on the fly- So if you go on the search bar in Canva, you just type flyers or business flyers. You once you type business flyers, you just play with it. Go on YouTube and just Google how to design a business flyer on Canva. There are thousands of videos. Watch them. That's how I I, I learned how to design book covers. If you've seen my book covers, even the the, the coloring books I do for kids, you will you know you might like it, but you might hate it. But most people who have seen my book covers love it. So this is how I learned. I go, I went on YouTube and I watched you videos of other people doing it. And I just played with Canva and that's how I learned how to do it. It's not rocket science. So go on there, sacrifice this weekend, design a flyer of what you want to offer. I'll tell you the things that you can, you may add on your flyer. Now that's for flyer. Um, the next thing you want to do is business cards. People take you seriously when you have a business card. If you are sharing your flyers, fantastic to share your flyers. But how about you walk into an office well dressed like a CEO or, or, you know, a business magnet. You know what I'm saying? You walk into an office and say, uh, I like to talk to, I don't know, the manager, whatever. You know, for example, if you walk into a bank, okay, and tell the, you go and sit in front of the, the account manager or the, or the receptionist, well, well dressed, just like, hi, sir, or hi, madam, how can I help you? Well, I'm here to open a business account for my business. What does your business do? You you think about your business name, what you want to call this business. And as you get chatting with her, you're not necessarily there to open an account, but you're just there to make contact, okay? As you get chatting with her, you drop your business card on the table and tell her that you like, you know, that this is what your business is into. Listen, just tell her that, okay, hi, um, you know, I'm here to open a business account. Let me give you guys all the gist. I'm here to open a business account. Um, my business is called um, We've Got You. My business is called We've Got You Limited. Or um, what other innovative name is there? Um, um, whatever, you can call it your name, okay? Nias, Nias Services Limited or Ima's Services Limited or Titus's Services Limited or 
Isoka's Isokan brothers or whatever. You know, I'm just calling all the names of my clan members. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, so um, you tell her the name of your business and she'll be like, what does your business do? Say, at this juncture, you have to speak aloud. Make sure that other people can hear you. Hmm? You increase the volume a little. Say, oh, actually, I my business is going to work with professionals like yourself. I know that you're all very busy um, and, you know, people don't always have time to go to the market to do their own grocery shopping. People don't always have time to you know, run their own errands. People don't always have time to cook their own food, you know, healthy meals, which is cheaper because most of the times you guys work at the office, you spend a lot of time here and you buy food from town, which can be very pricey. So, you know, uh, what, one of the things that my, one of the services that my business will be offering is cooking food for you, which and putting in, 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 in packs so that in the morning, when, before you leave, you just take a pack and put it into your bag and you, you can have that as lunch. So you can save money at lunch and eat healthy food. Food that is hygienic, you know the sauce, you know where it was cooked. I can come all the way to your home or my team and I can come to your home and do the cooking if you're happy with that. Uh, Another thing that my business is, uh, another service that my business is offering is actually making sure that your clothes are taken care of. So doing the laundry for you and the ironing and just packing everything. Another service that my business offers is cleaning. So uh, while you're at work, we'll make sure that your home is cleaned and, and sanitized. And all you need to do is come back, lay in your bed in fresh sheets after a long day at work. How, how does that sound? If you're actually this lady who works long hours at the bank or this man who works long hours at the bank, who doesn't have anyone to do these things for them who is not married perhaps even sometimes when they're married the husband and wife work out of the home they don't have children perfect target this is a perfect avatar they would jump at you and say yes if someone had come to me when i started working and living as a as a as a celibataire and made this proposal to me i'd be like when can you start like can you start like tomorrow you know, because I used to struggle to eat, literally struggle. I used to drink more at break time because when I looked around me, I didn't see what I could eat that was healthy and that was hygienic. So I used to drink more at break time or I just buy bread and chocolate or I just buy bread and butter. That was me in Douala. Working as a finance manager, please, earning good money. But I didn't have anyone that could really help me so yeah i had someone at home who was taking care of a nanny who was thinking of my son but those other little little other uh, uh, services are things that would have really improved my living standard and made my life much better a lot of people are looking for this kind of services a lot of people i bet you that if you go out do this business card, design a nice flyer. You can share your flyer on the group once you've designed it, you know, so that we can all give you a thumbs up. If you do this, I bet you that you'll get clients on day one. And while you're talking to this lady and raising your voice just a little bit, other people might hear and say, okay, you know, I don't know, maybe some of, maybe some of your colleagues might be interested in this service. Please, you know, I, can I give you a few other business cards to share with them? This is the lady at the bank or at MTN or at Orange, wherever you think your target client is, the people who are willing and able to pay for this kind of service. They will not be in the market. Mm-mm. They will not be in, in Douala, Mashe Central, or Bamenda Market. Mm-mm. They will be in offices. People want to pay for convenience. Go and look for them and sell your service to them. But don't go and talk with your mouth. Go with a business card, well-dressed. Very important presentation and first meeting. They call it first impression. Counts a lot. That's when they're either going to take you seriously or just like, who is this crazy person? Like, you know, you think I'm going to let you into my home or you think I'm going to trust you with my food? Because if you go looking shabby, how do you expect anyone to take you seriously? No one is going to take you seriously. 
So you have to go looking sharp, looking like a business manager that you are because you're about to manage a million dollar business. And once you get, as you're getting more gigs, you can start doing it on your own. But as you're getting more gigs, you start hiring other people. You can brand it. When you guys go to cook or go to clean, just wear, just get a, you know, a tailor to sew, maybe an apron and a hat for you, you know, and you just brand your business name on it. Esokas Services Limited. Or, well, uh, uh, we've got you limited that's a nice name you know we've got you like whatever you need we've got you we've got you limited i don't want to i don't want to give you guys my 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 business name but it's really a nice it's a very nice name uh, but you can be innovative you know you can post your names in the group let's see if you know if we can help to just the name up but that's the business idea for today guys i want you to take it very seriously if you like it leave a comment in the comment section. I'm seeing all those who are leaving comments. Last podcast, Fritz left a comment and Dylan left, uh, Dylan made a comment in the group, but please leave a comment in the podcast. Okay. Thank you so much. And share it, share it, share it. You cannot take care of all the business in the world. Share it so that God can bless you because you are blessing others. God can open your road because... You're not selfish and you don't have a scarcity mindset. It's very important to score good points in God's book. And just by sharing an an idea that can help your neighbor, your friend, your family member, you go a long way to score good points in God's book. And I guarantee you that whenever you need those points, whenever you're in trouble, God is going to give them back to you. That's why he says that whatsoever you do to the least of my brothers, you do it unto me. Okay, let me stop preaching. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. On Monday, I'll be dropping the next million dollar business idea. And I hope that you all take it seriously and it changes your life and it gets you to start thinking without the box. Like Professor Lumumba said, let's let's stop there think outside the box no we're taking the box away you know in its entirety we don't want any box so we're thinking without the box and we're creating these business ideas that will change our country our continent you know and then boost our own personal living standards all right guys thank you do take care bye-bye